going to shift gears now to mm -hmm. whether Rob joins us. And we do have the weekend ahead of us. And a a busy weekend. Planned. Very busy. We have, don't forget, too, we move the clocks ahead Sunday. That's right. We have parades. We have the river going green tomorrow morning. We yeah. have the Big Ten basketball tournament in town. It, we're getting closer. We're, we're inching our way to spring. But it's not going to feel like it this, <laughs> this weekend, unfortunately. <laughs> it is going to feel a little bit more like late winter. And really, that's where we are. Let's go ahead and take a look outside. There was some uh, snow showers falling on this uh, image just not maybe five minutes ago or so. And now we are looking at uh, kind of off and on snow showers. That's going to continue during the overnight. There's also some snow building up on several of our cameras around Chicago. Uh, I've been watching these over the last several hours or so. Not many changes to our forecast. We really haven't adjusted too much because we haven't needed to. The forecast is on track. Temperatures right around freezing. Most of you are on the positive side of that, but there are a few locations that are cooling down below that. And our future clouds and radar, again, a couple of uh, new pieces of information have come in with this, and I do want to kind of walk you through those. But for Saturday, especially in the morning, we're looking pretty good. It's going to be on the chilly side. We'll have that east wind coming right off of the lake. Temperatures will be in the 30s. Winds will pick up a little bit, but it won't necessarily be a windy day tomorrow. A little bit of a light breeze, though, with temperatures in the 30s. It's going to make it feel like it's in the the 20s. Here's midday. Uh, the uh, river dying happens at 10 o'clock. We've got the parade uh, 1230, I believe, for tomorrow. And I do think we'll see snow tomorrow, but it's going to happen later. So we get through most of the daytime without any snow showers. And then as we get into the overnight, in fact, the timing on this has slowed down just a little bit. This is a new model run that just came in, and it really has backing off of a good bit of the snow as well. And I'm glad about that because some of the earlier models were a little bit bullish and they were much higher than perhaps where our forecast was. But I think we're on in one track here in pretty good shape. Early morning on Sunday, we're still looking at some scattered snow showers. I do think we'll see some scattered snow showers through the day on Sunday. Again, our forecast is on track, hasn't really changed a whole lot, but we get this out of here by Sunday, and I think we're looking pretty good. Most of the models have backed off of that snowfall, but I still think our forecast is on track an inch or maybe two, depending on where you are. Let's go ahead and show you the seven day forecast. By the way, you do uh, spring forward Saturday night, Sunday morning, however you want to do it. Temperature stay in the 30s all the way through Tuesday and then the average high this time of year 45. We'll do that on Wednesday. We get even a little bit warmer than that as we look into Thursday, but for the next couple of days, four days or so, we're stuck in the 30s, unfortunately. All right. Thanks, Rob. Yeah.